From baseball bat-style hits with the stick to throat slashes, NHL's players sometimes take it a little too far when they're angry. But these following 10 players take it much too far. These are the dirtiest players in the NHL. Number 10. Gordie Howe Mr. Hockey, one of the greatest hockey players of all time, does indeed belong on this list. Howe could do it all, including deliver a fatal elbow to the head of opposition players, for which he became legendary during his career. There's a reason a Gordie Howe hat-trick is a game in which a player scores a goal, assists another player, and gets into a fight, even if a few opponents were ready to drop the gloves with Gordie following some of his battles. There are videos on the internet showing several of Howe's hits, including a couple with his stick, but probably the most memorable battle Howe got into resulted in a broken nose for Rangers tough guy Leaping Lou Fontanato. Back in the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s, all hockey players had to protect themselves, and Howe was never afraid to cross the line to defend himself or frighten opponents. Number 9. Eddie Shaw Eddie Shaw? How rough was he? His moniker was Old Blood and Guts, and he didn't get it for being friendly. Shaw's most infamous hit came on Ace Bailey of the Leafs, effectively resulting in the first NHL All-Star game, which was a benefit for Bailey and his family. Shaw slammed into Bailey from behind, causing his head to smash into the boards. Bailey suffered a head fracture and nearly died. Despite his survival, his NHL career was finished. Shaw was suspended by the NHL for 16 games as a result of the incident. Shaw was tough as nails, but he didn't always follow the rules. He was not only a terrific hockey player, but he also deserved to be on this list. Number 8. Sean Avery Sean Avery did not become the most despised man in hockey by accident. Avery frequently bent or simply defied the rules. He was primarily known for agitating and antagonizing opponents while refusing to combat them when challenged. There are numerous well-known occurrences involving Avery. With his actions, he is the only NHL player in recent memory to have created a rule on the spot. The NHL enacted the Avery Rule, which made it an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty to wave your stick in a goalie's face. There was also the infamous sloppy seconds remark, as well as an alleged remark Avery made about Jason Blake, who had a rare form of leukemia. Then there's also Avery's cheap shot on Boston goaltender Tim Thomas. He skated past Thomas and hit him in the head with his stick after the whistle blew. Number 7. Dave Brown In the 1980s and 1990s, Dave Brown was a tough guy for the Flyers, Oilers, and Sharks. Brown made one of the ugliest plays in NHL history in October of 1987. He practically took a two-handed baseball swing at Rangers pitcher Thomas Sandstrom's face. There was no reason for this play, and Brown was suspended for the following 15 games. Brown had 45 goals and 1,789 penalty minutes in 789 games during his NHL career. If you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button to catch our latest content. Number 6. Marty McSorley Marty McSorley was known as a nasty guy and an enforcer during his NHL career, and he spent the majority of his time in Edmonton and Los Angeles making sure nobody damaged Wayne Gretzky. However, McSorley certainly crossed the line in February 2000 when he swung his stick and smacked Vancouver's Donald Brashear in the head with only three seconds remaining in a game between the Bruins and Canucks. McSorley was suspended by the NHL for the remainder of the 99-2000 season. In addition, as a result of his conduct, the huge Hamilton, Ontario native was convicted of criminal assault and sentenced to 18 months probation. McSorley never played another NHL game after the Brashear incident because no team would sign him after his heinous behavior. Number 5. Bobby Clark Bobby Clark is on this list for a number of reasons. Clark, a Hall of Famer who overcame diabetes and led the Flyers to two Stanley Cup titles, was also a fighter who started fights but rarely dropped his gloves. Clark would frequently spear or elbow an opponent, and if the opponent tried to hit back, multiple Flyers players would leap in to defend their captain. As a result of these methods, the NHL established the third man rule, which resulted in automatic game misconduct for the third player involved in a brawl. One especially brutal incident included California Golden Seals defenseman Barry Cummins, who was bloodied by multiple Flyers during a stick swinging incident involving Clark. Clark's most infamous dirty play occurred during the 1972 Summit Series, which Canada won when he purposely hacked the ankle of Valery Karlamov of the USSR. Clark shattered Karlamov's ankle and missed Games 7 and 8 of the series. 
Clark's fans claim actions like this demonstrated how desperately he wanted to win. His enemies claim it demonstrated what a dirty player he was. Number 4. Claude Lemieux Claude Lemieux was a well-known irritant and pest who made a career out of disturbing opponents and crossed the line between tough and nasty. During one of his games, Lemieux bit Calgary's Jim Poplinski's finger. The most controversial play in Lemieux's career, however, was his vicious hit from behind that sent Detroit's Chris Draper face-first into the boards. Draper needed reconstructive surgery on his face and had to have his jaw wired shut for several weeks. The hit resulted in a fierce rivalry between the Avalanche and the Wings for the next several seasons. You might have admired what Claude Lemieux did on the ice if he was a member of your team, but what he did to Chris Draper was clearly inappropriate and earned his spot on our list. Number 3. Dale Hunter Dale Hunter made a career out of near misses. He was regarded as a difficult player who frequently crossed the line between annoying and dirty. Hunter's teammates adored him, while opposition fans and players despised the rough centre from Petrolia, Ontario. Hunter has 3,563 penalty minutes in his career, which ranks him second all-time behind Tiger Williams. His most infamous performance occurred in the championship game of the 1993 playoffs against the New York Islanders. Pierre Turgeon scored a crucial goal for the Isles, then Hunter rushed over and checked him hard almost five seconds later. Turgeon's shoulder was split on the play, and he missed practically the whole following series against Pittsburgh. Hunter received a 21-game suspension for his cheap shot and was inducted into the NHL's unofficial Hall of Shame. Number 2. Ulf Samuelson Ulf Samuelson was regarded as one of the dirtiest players of his day, with a reputation for hitting opponents near the knees. He was also upset but turtled when challenged, refusing to drop the gloves, which violated the NHL's enforcer code. Don Cherry was frequently enraged by Samuelson's actions. The fact that he was Swedish did not endear him to the former Bruins coach and Hockey Night in Canada analyst. Samuelson's most notable play occurred in the 1991 playoffs when he hit Boston's Cam Neely in the knee and knocked him out of the Penguins-Bruins series. Neely never fully healed from this collision, acquired a degenerative knee problem, and was forced to retire from hockey too soon. Samuelson's actions earned him a spot on our list as one of hockey's most despised players. Number 1. Chris Simon Chris Simon was an NHL tough guy who struggled with anger management. Simon's bad behavior resulted in eight league sanctions, including one for using a racial epithet to describe an opponent of African descent and a cross-check to Peter Popovich's throat. However, Simon won the number one rank on our list because of two incidents that occurred in 2007. First, Simon swung his stick like a baseball bat toward Rangers' Ryan Holweg's head. As a result, he was suspended for 25 games. The following season, Simon purposefully trod on the back of Pittsburgh's Jarko Rutu's leg when the Pens player was prone on the ice. As a result of that hit, the league punished Simon for 30 games, effectively ending his NHL career. He briefly played for the Minnesota Wild before joining the KHL. Simon was regarded as a terrific teammate and a nice person off the ice, but his recurrent failure to control his emotions propelled him to the top of our list of the NHL's dirtiest players. If you're interested in seeing how far hockey players would go, click the video on the screen to watch NHL players who went to jail.